hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe ne? uh i hope you guys are doing well today uh so today ne? uh this video is going to be focusing on how to make a footnote using a cell phone because of i realized that uh, due to some uh backgrounds uh some people cannot uh, or maybe do not have uh cell phones or laptops ne? so you can still make a footnote using a cell phone just make sure that your cell phone should be a smartphone but please do not use outdated smartphones like nokia asha obviously that is outdated ne? so use this nowadays uh, smartphones and does not mean that it has to be expensive you can even the smartphone that is worth 420 yeah i do believe it is smart kicker it can still even do as long as with that phone you can download whatsapp and use it it means that it qualifies ne? because if, if i say that as long as it has android um some who are using tis and what what there are some phones that are using other uh other features so as long as it does but for android ne, i'm 100 percent sure i'm 100 percent sure that is going to do ne? so guys let's get on it so guys as i, I have explained that uh, in order to use this app you need to have a smartphone ne? uh you can even if you are using smart kicker i do believe that is 400 and something that phone can still do guys as long as it is play store it can down it can use whatsapp then you're good to go i'm 100 sure you're good to go here i just downloaded that uh, uh i just downloaded uh web app and then after downloading a web app uh, i typed this line as you can see how to make or insert a footnote name so guys i will be referencing that line so i'll be showing how to uh footnote that line and then guys when you are making a footnote make sure that this line after a comma it is always where you want to put a footnote at because of if it is not there it's going to put um, a footnote at a point where you don't want it to be and then it's going to mess up uh, with your referency or your footnote ne? so make sure guys that this line after a comma is where you want to put the reference at ne? so as for me i want to put it after the comma uh at my sentence ne? so after that you move here check where the red dot move to check the red dot and then it goes to that arrow that is pointing up then you press that and then after pressing that guys uh it is going to give you another menu ne? and then when it gives you another menu ne? check where i go the red dot goes straight to this option home you press it and then after pressing it you're going to see this so after pressing that ne? you're going to press insert insert remember that guys press insert and then after pressing an insert is going to give you this menu ne? and then when you see this menu you scroll down until you see this a b to the power one footnote and then you press it and then when you press it is when you are it means in short it means that you are inserting a footnote and then check out uh, how it's gonna be and then after pressing that guys automatically is going to make this line for you and then after making this line for you it's going to write a smaller number so as for me because of this one is the first one is going to write one and then also here you can see that it is one which means that uh, sentence number one is reference is here ne? so guys referencing can be one way or two way ne? this here it is one way because of i'm referencing one sentence so there is a situation whereby you are being asked to do a footnote and then when you check two or more sentences are related or are using the same reference so guys uh, sometimes you can see that uh, in a paragraph let's say that we have a, a paragraph which have um, uh, four lines and then four sentences so you're going to check 
number one is related to two two is related to three three is related to four so in that situation it's very simple guys ne? you just have to start from one and then say one is is uh, related to two two is related to three and then three is related to four and then at the end of four you put a reference so when you're putting a reference when someone is reading and one a reference for one and two and what they're going to check where the last point ended where the last point ended it ended on four so which means that four is related to three three is related to four four is related to one so that's when you're re referencing a paragraph because if you cannot just say uh, same reference now sentence number one same reference sentence number two same reference sentence number three same reference it's going to be too much references and then from the same thing so it is best if you write at the end of the related sentence and then thank you for watching guys keep on subscribing share the link for those who, who are who are not aware of uh, how to make footnote or insert footnote using a cell phone so guys remember all you have to do have a smartphone uh that has an android or other features as long as you can use as long as it can download uh, this app or maybe it can um, uh use whatsapp so obviously when it's using whatsapp i do believe that it's going to use this thing so guys uh, and then when you're using this app you don't have to like uh have data always or maybe it does not consume data or it does not need you to connect to uh it does, not, it does not need you to connect to internet or what so it, once you download it it is a once off then you are done so it's going to maybe guys just have close to 200 megabytes or maybe 100 megabytes depending with your phones guys because of the bigger the phone the higher the features ne? so guys all the best